Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Ryan Oswald here with Edmonton Kubota. And we're going to do a, a quick overview, just a little walk around here on Kubota's new 2021 BV4580, which is our Dryland 5x6 baler. A couple of new updates for 2021 that we were pretty impressed with. We've got a brand new jack system here for 2021. Uh, just way more stable, a lot easier to unhook and hook the tractor with the, uh, the added stability of this guy right here. Plus now for 2021, we finally have our 1000 PTO option. Uh, previous uh, series and models previous to 2020, we could only order this baler as a 540 uh, PTO RPM, which, you know, most guys with the uh, 13 foot plus disc binds are going to be 1000 PTO, so they always had to switch back and forth. So great job, Kubota, on that. It's nice to have a 540 and 1000 PTO. Um, big 540 rear tires, nice flotation tires for 2021, same as last year, but we do have a reinforced axle for 2021. Uh, a little bit of improvements there. Nice 84 inch wide pickup. This is one of the best selling features on this baler. Uh, massive 84 inch wide pickup. If you can get a close up in there, Cody, you'll see. Um, to stuff this baler, it takes a lot of hay and you gotta be going over speed to make it work. So that's just a quick overview of the pickup. Hey guys, we just wanted to focus now on the driver's side of the baler. We got nice, easy, wide open doors. They are shock assisted. Don't need two or three guys to open these. And then we got a nice, clean, open side here. Great storage opportunity for a couple of extra rolls so you don't have to come back to the farm. You can store them right here on the baler. Cody, if you can just focus in on this part here. This is our tailgate lockout here. Just a hydraulic lockout for the tailgate. If we need to do any kind of servicing in the back, we can lock it out. And of course, there is a safety pin up here, a mechanical safety pin that we can use as well once we lock out that hydraulic just for some extra safety. These tailgate closing guides, nice option if you're in the hills. So on and so forth. These do not, um, they used to not come standard. Uh, we are making them standard on all the balers here that we bring into them to Kubota. Just gives you a nice guide, you know, any side hills, so on and so forth when we're closing that tailgate. Uh, don't have to worry about that not connecting or, or closing all the way and that sensor going off on us. That guide helps us much better. Uh, closer to the front here, we have our electric proportional control. As you know, this is a variable chamber baler that we can adjust right from the monitor inside the cab of the tractor so we can adjust our three core densities right from here this used to be manual with an electronic option it's now standard moving forward on all our balers so um, before we used to have a, a little turn dial manual valve there now everything's electronic we can adjust it right from inside the cab so a great feature glad that that's standard equipment because we we're putting on all of ours anyways and it just added a little extra time for the pdi process to change it over to electronic so great feature we love that on this side of the baler so on the pickup here guys, we do have five rows of tines on this particular pickup with our adjustable uh, swath roller on top here as well. This is again, depending on the crop conditions, we can adjust that higher or lower, depending on crop condition, how fluffy it is, so on and so forth. Then you're gonna notice the stuffer forks in there as well. So uh, nice open chamber, easy to clean out. Uh, if we ever do have any kind of option or plug, uh, plugging or anything like that, but like I said, it takes a ton of product to put uh, this uh, pickup to the test here if we ever have to plug it. But from there, we can just kind of sneak around to the front. This is one of our best selling features on this baler is our front load system with our net wrap. Um, all balers now moving forward with 2021 are twine and net wrap. So you have the option of both. Um, obviously in our area, most guys are using net wrap more often than none. So a nice front load system. We're not worrying about having it in the back. We can see when the bale is actually wrapping right from the seat of the cab when even when the door is closed here, it left a nice open portion here so we can actually see that net spin. Obviously the monitor is gonna let us know as well. And we can adjust our tie times if you wanna do one and a half, two, two and a half wraps. Again, that's all done from the monitor. So great front load system with the power bind. We love it. Hey guys, now we're over onto the passenger side here on the BV4580 from Kubota. Um, this side here, you're gonna notice a couple of great features that we have, first of all, um, obviously our, our twine side is on this side. We have storage of up to eight rolls on this particular side. Cool feature here is our greasable valve banks here. So everything is done right from our valve bank there. For your grease gun, so we're not searching for every single one on each roller. Um, that valve bank is a great option here for our greasing. Brains of the baler is right here. This is all our electronical brains for our monitor and all our sensors. And then you're gonna notice 100 weight chain. This chain here is heavy duty. This is designed specifically for this baler. Lots of competitors are only using an 80 weight there. Um, so having an 80 
or 100 chain there is definitely worth the while on this side. So again, nice and simple, easy to clean. Guy after a good fall, uh, fall day or anything like that, take your blower to it and uh, everything will clean out just perfectly for you. Every truck's got a dash full of dust or a bed full of feed from the females. The ladies at the church make quilts for the poor and our favorite color is Kubota orange. And a tractor town where the wheels go around and you better slow down for the farmer. The dirt ain't red, good living ain't dead and you get ahead working harder. And everybody knows heaven can be found. In a tractor town the Local buzz at the coffee shop Is the price of crops and the weather The front page news is a ribbon of blue On the county fair champion heifer we Wave to the cops and we stand for the flag And I can't wait till I go back To the tractor town where the wheels go around And you better slow down the dirt ain't real good, living ain't dead, and you get ahead working harder. And everybody knows heaven can be found in a tractor town. Buddy, just wanted to talk to you about the actual bales we are making, as you saw in the video in the tractor cab. Um, we're making this to about, I think our monitor is set to about 65, 66 inches tall, but you're gonna see we got 64 inch net wrap, and we got a nice uh, over the edge wrap with this uh, Kubota net wrap. You can see our core densities, which we can adjust from inside the cab on the monitor. We're nice and tight in all three sections here. Um, but again, we can adjust that if we want a little bit looser in some higher moisture conditions for a little better dry time, we can do that. But as you can see for transport on these guys, they're nice and tight to stock. So again, Kubota's BB4580 making a perfect bail. Thanks again for tuning in. Oh, <laughs>